welcome back to Make It With Magnolia Thursday. So this morning we got on and we were making a super cute project and it just so happened that the internet did not want to cooperate. Anybody ever have that happen to them? So let's go ahead and I want to be able to finish this project with you guys. I think that it was super cute. The people who stick with me, you guys thought it was super cute. And we made this beautiful little stuffy carrot. So I want to show you guys how to make this. And it is just super fun. It is super easy. So let's go ahead and get started. As you jump on or re-jump on, say hey. I'm excited to be here with you guys today. But I definitely wanted to show you our project of the day. So the first thing that I'm going to do is there's just water in our spray bottle here. I'm going to get our drop cloth. A little wet and not too wet but just enough to be able to smear the paint now I have a little tub here that I have mixed about four different ink colors in all together to to make this beautiful little carrot color as you can see from our placemats earlier we were having so much fun with our watercolor but nobody could handle the video it was blurry it was laggy so I apologize so what I'm going to do is we're going to watercolor our stuffy using our ink. So we have some rose gold. What do we have? Some um, orange, no, vibrant orange, rose gold. Um, and then what was this one again? This one was pumpkin pie. So we have some pumpkin pie, some rose gold, a little bit of vibrant orange, a little bit of white mixed in there to get this beautiful little carrot color. So all I'm going to do is go ahead and we're going to paint this little drop cloth. So it's in like a pizza form. This is what we did earlier today. So I'm just going to take my spray bottle and we are going to just spread this around. It helps it a little bit more. There we go. All right, let's get this a little bit wet. Okay, now I'm going to quickly go ahead and just paint all over this for you guys. Have you guys ever worked with inks? watering them down, working with some watercolor with them maybe, um, making little stuffies yourself. Um, I gave Heidi Scott a little shout out earlier, but I'll do it again right now. Uh, she is where I learned this technique from. She makes them with her dough bowls. Um, I call them stuffies. I think she does too. Um, so Heidi, if you're watching, I get that wrong. You just let me know. But thank you so much for the inspiration. And I think this is going to be just a super cute project. So we are using all of our inks. We are just watercoloring with them right now, moving everything around. Oh, come back here. And then we'll give it a pretty decent blow dry here in just a minute. I'm just going to still a little damp. There we are. So we're going to use our same stencil from earlier. All right. And that one was the flower patter power pattern. That gives you a tongue tied. Do you guys get that big? <laughs> that was fun. Flower power pattern. <laughs> Just got to say it slow. All right, we got one more little corner left. Let's get this a little wet. Make it easily spread. There we go. Oh, it's looking so good. All right, guys, this is looking awesome. All right, so our first step is completed. So let's move all of this out of the way. 
Beautiful, beautiful. Now what we're gonna do is I have these Distress Oxide pens and we're gonna go ahead and, actually I'm gonna wait, and I'm gonna go ahead and dry this. So stick with me as this dries. It's gonna be about two minutes or so, and then we will continue our project. It's gonna be so much fun. But as I'm working on our project, I want you guys to tell me, earlier we used the almond oil, and I really liked that one. So I'm thinking about using it again. What about glittering white as well? Should we use this one instead? You guys let me know in the comments below. I do really like the almond oil, so you guys are going to have to change my mind to this glittering white if you like that. All right, let's go ahead and dry this. down to see if there's any areas we still need to get to. And it looks so good though. All right. Now we're going to take a little bit of this Distress Oxide pen, a little mat, I guess you would say, ink, ink, pad and I am just putting a little brown into it. I think it's really cool. Give it just a little rugged dimension and I'm I'm moving it up and kind of tugging it at the same time. So you guys can see here in a minute it's kind of like the little divots that you get inside of a carrot and I thought that would be super fun. Okay, doing good, doing good. Oops. How are you guys doing? Sticking with me? This looks so, so good guys. Okay, so. Let's bring in a little bit of our darker one for the edges, I think. That would look really cool. And I'm just kind of tarnishing up that fabric, but also giving some carrot lines itself. It looks so good. Okay, are you guys ready to see our little beginning to our carrot? You see how we kind of have some divots in there, like how it could be kind of for a carrot? I think those look so cute. So the next step that we're gonna do is, I'm gonna flip that over. All right, now our next part is we're gonna grab our stencil that we used earlier today. Remember that flower power pattern? I'm getting it a little bit better, guys. And then we're going to be able to stencil on here. We want it to be a little bit even. I'm going to try to get as much as we can. Let's go ahead and butt it up. There we are. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to smooth this all the way down. All right guys, so the moment of truth here. I think that we have to go with the almond oil still. I think it's going to be super cute. 
So let's go ahead and we're gonna spread that ink all over this stencil here. Remember with the ink, a little goes a long ways. These are so much fun to make. All right, getting all over the corners here. Smooth that out. Well, thanks for joining me, guys. I appreciate it. I see some of you guys jumping on, so I appreciate that. Especially if you were with us this morning. I am so sorry about the video but we are remaking it now so i hope that everything is a little bit better audio visual no lags <laughs> but i'm having so much fun so recreating this morning's project is just a breeze right when it comes to stencils and magnolia and being creative okay so I got just a little bit more. I don't want to take too much. I'm going to take a little bit too much there. Okay. Now we're moving all of our excess. Going over a few pieces that I see. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. All right, let's remove it and see what we've done. Make sure you clean your hands off. Okay. Oop, it's stuck to our little sheet, too. So we'll fill it up slowly. Slowly. Oh my gosh, it looks so good, guys. Oh, it looks so darling. And I think I'm going to leave it the way it is. I don't think I'm going to repeat the pattern on the sides. I think this looks adorable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently lift out getting it everywhere and I'm going to remove this so we can blow dry it there we go all right let's go ahead and do this really quick and then we'll put it all together and then you guys can see exactly how we made it so this will take just a minute or two and remember, what we're aiming for is to make it like this guy. How cute was he? Now, I definitely need to tr trim up some greenery, <laughs> but he looks pretty cute. into a cone. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the two pieces of fabric and I'm going to glue them together. So you take one side that you've stenciled on and put a glue seam and the other one is going to wrap it 
and then you can secure it into a cone like figure all right this is gonna look so cute just make sure our glue tool is here now I'm gonna start it a little bit lower I'm not gonna start it right at the tippity top of there perfect all right now I'm gonna roll it Just to get it started here, we bring that back. There we are. That's where we need it to be. Perfect. Okay, so let's smash this one down. I need to fix the end here. Just a smidgen. We need a little bit more glue. roll into itself perfect all right give that a second to sit up all right oop no other pieces have come off all right let's glue this one more time Right, now I'm pressing on the inside too as well as the outside making sure that the glue worked and it stuck where it needed to there we go awesome all right so we got a little bit there we go all right what do you guys think of our beautiful little carrot cone he is secured on the back side here with a little seam and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill it. I'm so excited. All right, so I have a big bag of polyfill down here. Big bag. So we're gonna take oh, three good helpings to have one from earlier today. And we're gonna start with little pieces first to tuck all the way in the very bottom here. So I'm gonna Push him and push him and push him and push him. There we go. All right, now the second bigger piece, making sure you're pushing it all down. Beautiful. There's another. Can you guys see our carrot coming to life? Just getting a little bit of fill in her. All right, and maybe just one more. We need to leave room for the very tip top. Let's see. I think that'll look good. Okay, so let's push them down just a little bit more. That looks so cute. All right, so then we're gonna squish here in a second. What do you guys think about our little carrot? Might need after doing, pushing it a little bit. Maybe a little bit more on this side. It didn't feel as fluffy. Perfect. Okay, so now, yeah, I already cut some jute. So we're going to put some jute on the bottom here. We're going to tie it together. And then we have another sprig that we're going to use. But what I don't want is to use all of this on the tippity top. Beautiful. Okay, and I don't know where my scissors ran off to, so we might have to clip that when we're done. But I think that looks more of a cute little greenery bunch. What do you guys think? Okay, so we're going to push them all together. Like a big sack here. So cute. Now I'm just doing this for the back side. Okay. Perfect. Now I'm going to put our greenery stuck in there. That looks so cute. What do you guys think? Maybe he needs to be in there a little bit more. Let's move some of this polyfill and stick him right in the center of all of it. No, oh, I think it's coming along, coming along really cute. What do you guys think? I think it's cute so far. All right, so I'm gonna wrap it to hold these guys together. Then we can trim 
so cute. All right, so I'm gonna do it on both sides here to secure. Get one more. Oh my gosh, it looks so cute. All right, hold on. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to wrap it super tight around this stem here. I'm gonna do this a few times so we don't lose any of our pieces. So cute. Okay, so now I'm gonna tie it towards myself. When I got too much string, I'll have to trim this up. So stinking cute, guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're going to adjust our bow here with our jute. They look like little ears. That's so cute. Right, now we're going to trim a little bit. I'm going to leave some though. I think it's super cute. So let's put these off to the side. And oh my gosh, are you guys ready to see this super adorable little thing? We're going to have to play around with some of this greenery. But look how cute it turned out to be. I think it is so adorable. You can make these in totally like three different sizes. You can put them on your um, dining room table, maybe your living room, a little dough bowl. I just absolutely love these. They came out so good. Thank you, Heidi Scott, for the inspiration today for our carrots, but they look adorable. I love this pattern. I love the little stuffy idea. I hope you guys did too. Thank you guys so much for coming back and hanging out with me this afternoon for Make It With Magnolia Thursday. We hope to see you next week for Minute Wednesday. All right, everyone. 